Sometimes you just have to blow your comfort zone out of the water. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get right into another Walmart haul, several dresses and a couple of fun finds. Getting right into this scoop dress, I got it in a size small, which says four to six. I noticed that with scoop items, I generally have to size down a little bit. I'll kind of prove that to you in a little bit. This dress comes in sizes extra small to double XL, and it comes in four different color options. I believe it was $39 full price. I am going to pull back and show you immediately the midi length on me. Again, I'm just over 5'8", and um, I got it in black. It just goes a lot better with my current wardrobe, but they do have other brighter options. The first thing I'm going to say is that um, I do like the material, but I did have to do quite a bit of steaming. It is a like 97% uh, cotton, which is great, and it has a little bit of spandex in it. So it actually feels comfortable to wear. But again, um, if you don't like ironing, you're going to struggle when you first get it. <laughs> it does have this ruffle, which is very interesting to me. Not sure if it's the most flattering for my body type because it does add a little bit of bulk onto an area that I already I'm trying to slim down. It does, however, have pockets in it, which is surprising to me, especially with this additional little flap right here. It comes with its own belt. Not really a fan. Um, I think the belt kind of cheapens it personally. It's just the same fabric of cotton, and it's one of those kind of slip and slide belts that really just never work well and they always look awkward and it also pulls the little string out a little bit so i'm going to just show you all of the items as is kind of in with a neutral base and then i'm going to show you how i would style it if i were going to keep it i do like the higher um, neckline because it's definitely work appropriate it's church appropriate it's you know not going to show anything you don't want it to uh, it does have another ruffle down here, so it hits right here, and then of course, just kind of like just below my calf muscles there. So yeah, overall, um, really well constructed, lightweight material, so great for fall, but if you're going into really cold uh, weather months, then you might wanna consider like putting some boots on, wearing it with a coat, that type of thing. I just threw on some like little um, cap toe type of little lower heels, and uh, these are just old Banana Republic, but they make these types of shoes every year, so I'll link what I can find below. And then um, I think the biggest change is just swapping out the belt. I think that kind of ups the game of the dress. So what I did was I took the entire belt off and I actually just have a really inexpensive stretchy black belt that sort of covers over all the little extra goodies that were right here and the elastic. And then just the little hint of gold just picks up on maybe some gold or two-tone jewelry that you have. And it just kind of adds a little bit of interest to the bag. And then of course, if I were gonna be going to work, I would just carry some sort of a laptop bag or a tote that I could take to work with me so yeah it's definitely just one of those one and done dresses and for $39 I think you could get a lot of wear out of this the Sofia Vergara jeans are being called a super high-rise palazzo jean and I do agree with the palazzo part but not quite the high-rise and that's a good thing for me personally most super high-rise pants are just unwearable for me I have a very short torso these are actually coming just at my belly button so I think that's a really good rise for me and you guys my tall girls unite we actually have some pants that are long enough without having to order long I I am wearing what probably a two inch heel at least and um, these are just grazing like an inch above the floor I absolutely love the length on these they are um, a more stretch fit material so they're definitely not 100% cotton they do come in just this one color option however they come in size ranges double zero to 22 and they also come in short so if you think these are going to be a little bit too long for you they definitely have a short option and I think that's great I did go with a size 10 I am noticing that I am having to size up a little bit more in jeans just that phase of life for me um, and I do like the 10 I think they fit really well they are not tight or constricting and like I said even though they kind of 
are more fitted right here. They are not bunching and they have a stretch to them. So I definitely wouldn't want to go any larger than that. So I would say these are about true to size. That's how I would um, describe these. Sometimes you just have to blow your comfort zone out of the water. I did exactly that with this polyester blend midi dress. Wowie wow wow. <laughs> it comes in four different color or pattern options. It's a cool $54, you guys. I'm not sure how I feel about that. However, uh, the more I wear it, the more I realize it's kind of a one-stop shop, but it can also be changed up to make it look like two pieces and can also be toned down. So I will show you a few styling options with this dress. This range is extra small to a double XL, and I believe that it is very forgiving either way. They're actually calling it an oversized midi dress, um, but it is belted. And so let me just get a little closer and show you uh, the belting. I actually had to double it around my waist because it was so long and I didn't want two sets of strings competing with one another. Um, again, I don't think this belting system is terrible. However, when I style it, I can put different belts on with it and I think it changes the look altogether. So there's this first section right here and then you're working with this. Okay, who do, you, who do I remind you of? I need you to put that in the comments below because I remember as a child watching very specific TV shows and the women in these shows had these dresses on all the time. <laughs> I am wearing a size small, forgot to mention that. Uh, it's that four to six. I oftentimes like to just crisscross these ties and then tie them in the back. And it gives you like a completely different look in the dress and then the tie hangs in the back or you can knot it up and tuck it. And then that way it just gives a different collar line so that you don't necessarily have, you know, the bow going on in it. I am not wearing shapewear with this and I choose to do that because I want you to see how it looks on a real body. All right, let's style it a few different ways. I picked a nice black neutral fit sweater with a nice v-neck so that I could still pull out this little bow and have some fun and then I put just my super basic black pumps on because I wanted to mimic the black from the black hair and then it instantly gives you a completely different look and actually adds a layer of warmth as well so that you can wear these types of dresses well into the colder months and just get a little bit more use out of them. So that's just the quickest, easiest way to kind of give your dress a skirt look and then kind of bring the color tones together. Another super quick way to change up the look of this dress entirely is to throw a nice fitted blazer on with it. And actually for this, I went with the color scheme and I had just a fun pair of red pumps, but depending on your color scheme and what works with you, I just thought it was fun to just keep with that theme. So I've got the red shoes on and I love this fitted blazer. I featured it a while back. It's from the INC brand. I got it at Macy's and it's actually a stretch denim. So I think that in itself is a little bit unexpected, but you could just as easily use something else. I have an old loft fitted navy blazer. So really, it, you know, even a black one would go well as well. You can just kind of play with whatever's in your wardrobe um, and just as long as you kind of match it up. Super cute, but the kicker here as well is I actually untied the neckline and I tucked the whole thing under and actually flipped the neck all the way under. So that in itself kind of modernizes the dress in a different way. It gives it a much more cleaner look. And so don't be afraid to play with some of the details on your dress and see if you can give it a little bit of a different look. If you want a pair of pants that you can wear to work and out the door that genuinely feel like pajamas that you don't want to take off, these are them. <laughs> they come in three different color options. I have it in the gray shade today. They have a red, a true red, and then a black. And of course, as soon as I tried them on, I thought, why didn't I order the black? I want the black now. So for $28, I, you know, I think I'm going to keep these literally just to wear around and try to style, but the black ones I would love to wear with something like this all the time and just have a head to toe, super comfy outfit. These I did get in the larger size, the medium, which is an eight to 10. So again, true to size, um, as far as the pants go for me with my pear shape, these pants are so comfortable and they are a polyester and spandex, excuse me, polyester and viscose blend come in sizes extra small to a double XL. Again, um, pretty forgiving, I would say. I, I'm not wearing shapewear again. I don't know 
how I feel in this color. I'm not sure if I'm 100% secure in it. If I was wearing the black, I'd say no problem. But um, lighter shades always scare me a little bit without shapewear. Uh, again, length, I can't believe this. Um, I am wearing flats on purpose to show you that it is almost dragging the ground for me. Um, and I am wearing them at like a normal you know, waist. I don't have them hiked up or anything like that. So that's exactly where they would fall and fit. Again, I'm about five, eight and a half. So really great length, um, but if you were on the petite side, I don't think they offer these in a short. Just wanted to let you know that. I um, They are a crinkle palazzo pant. I don't know if you can actually see that coming through, but it does have this kind of straight crinkly effect going on. And I love that because I really do feel like that adds to them being a little bit more forgiving. They do not have pockets, however, so you do uh, need to know that going in. And they do have a thicker, if you can see that, like elastic waistband, but it does feel pretty secure. It doesn't feel like one of those ones that's gonna twist and turn on you very much. So overall, I love it. I love the $28 price tag. And again, I definitely think I'm ordering the black in these. This scoop asymmetric ruffle top is, um, I'm not doing it justice, I'll tell you that much right now. I did go ahead and order a size medium in it because I wasn't sure at the time with my sizes, especially in the tops. I really should have sized down to a small, so just know that going in, this is definitely on the big side for me. And I think if I, you know, I can even just pull it from the back and just show you how much different it would look if I had it like a little bit more of an accurate size for me. It is very similar to that original dress that I showed you at the beginning. It's that cotton poplin feel, but it has a tiny bit of spandex, which is kind of good because then even if I did size down in it, I'd still have a little bit of a stretch. It does have um, an actual like little band here, so it's not just elastic. So know that going in, there is not any stretch here. They do seem to have a little bit of um, room for openings, but if you do have, you know, really muscly or wider arms, this could be an issue because I'm not seeing any way to open it so you need to know that going in it also is one of those tops that pulls in over the head but it does have a nice V so it really wasn't an issue for me and I do love the construction of it it's really well made it's um, really clean and I like that it doesn't bother my neck but it does kind of come up high and have that little detail so if you get one that fits properly I think this would be really cute to actually uh, incorporate into your work wear, wear as well but can be super casual with like jeans or anything else you're wearing. Uh, let's check sizes. Oh, excuse me, four different color options. So this is really cool. And then it comes in extra small to uh, double XL again. Um, but again, like I said, super generous sizing. So um, honestly, if you're in that phase of life, like just size up one and you could wear this well into a pregnancy. <laughs> I mean, wow. And it actually has functioning buttons that go all the way down to here. So, I mean, it could be a post-pregnancy nursing top, really, if you wanted it to. That's pretty crazy. So, yeah, I do like this, and I think that I might have to exchange it and get a size down and then look at the different color options. But you had to be safe and order black. Um, I wanted to completely keep these pants on just for the color because I wanted you to see just how asymmetrical this is. And um, I'm not sure if the length would stay if I sized down, but wow, I mean, it is borderline you can wear this with leggings or skinny jeans because I mean look how far down it's hitting and you know kind of hides one side so it's a really neat piece it's a little more unexpected and a little better than I thought it would be this dress is the true sister to the top I just showed it's literally cut exactly the same and mimics all of the same lines and uh, design style. It is $34, again, a cotton uh, blend with just a little bit of spandex in it, just to give you a little bit of movement. It did require a good amount of steaming when I first got it, but now I think that it's gonna hold pretty true. Now in this one, I did get the size medium, the eight to 10, and I'm gonna say I like the size. I don't think I would size down in this. I do like the eight to 10 in this, I think it's a really more fitted dress and I like the cut of it. 
does have the pockets, of course, has um, a really exaggerated asymmetrical hemline. So you've got it all the way down just a few inches from my ankle on one side and then just below my knee on the other, but nothing inappropriate. Again, I think very work appropriate in many settings. I'm not wearing shapewear, it is not lined, but because of the thickness of the fabric and of course the color, on, at least for me, um, I feel fine without any shapewear underneath it. Uh, it does have a full button detail design. It comes in extra small through double XL. And again, four different color and pattern options. So this is great. Let me get a little closer so you can actually see the detail. It's the same as the top. So again, the same kind of just higher neckline. I love this classic neckline. I just think it's so flattering on so many women. And it just shows off a simple necklace. It gives you a little bit of your um, collarbone, but yet it's not inappropriate. Again, fully buttoned, uh, so if you were in a nursing situation, um, I think you could easily do that. Uh, these sleeves, however, come a little bit lower to me than I think that the top did. Uh, but again, no stretch and no way to adjust that. Uh, it does come with the um, tie belt of the same material. I do like this a little bit better than the metallic one from the other dress. However, I was so sad, it came with the perfectly tied bow, like Pinterest tied bow. And I had to untie it just to get it on because it is a slip on dress. So, uh, such is life, I'll have to learn how to tie bows, I guess. Um, I'm not sure that I would wear it like this all the time. I think I would more in a casual setting, maybe if I was just wearing this, maybe just out and about for the day with like, let's see, hold please. Maybe with like my hat and just some um, sandals and maybe out just for like a super casual day or vacation kind of day. But again, this is one of those dresses that I think if you swap out just a few things, you could make it really work appropriate and a lot more professional. I had to change it up a little bit on you. I have my good old fashioned cowboy hat on and I put my Walmart snakeskin booties from uh, last season on. This is about as country as I get, you guys, but it is a nod to one of the biggest trends this season. And I just think it's fun to just switch up accessories a little bit and you can make a a really basic piece go into a whole nother like trend or genre of outfits so this is a really fun one I would be totally comfortable wearing this to like a Western themed event or you know just something different for the evening or out and about you know if you're gonna go out to like outdoor concert or something I like this and I, I still feel like me but I'm just kind of giving a nod to the trend with this Back to another very, very work appropriate look and even something that would be comfortable to wear if you were in education or in the classroom. That works well too. Uh, same kind of Chanel look for less little um, simple heels with a block heel so that they're comfortable to wear all day. Uh, swapped out the belt just to kind of give it a little bit more of emphasis on your waist but also kind of still that understated um, look and a little bit of the gold just to give your jewelry a little bit of a nod. So yeah, super versatile. I'm really enjoying these pieces and I love that they have color options so that you can find one that's going to work with your wardrobe and all of your accessories. So overall, such a win. I love this dress and that does it for the rest of my video. I found some great pieces and um, now that I see the quality of these, I'm definitely going to go look for some of the other color options and see if there's something that I can use to maybe get a little more outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below, did you like any of these pieces? Have you tried any of them yet? All right, until next time, I'll see you soon.